The mystery of Anchor Point is finally solved. Well, a lot of users don't know about Anchor Points and how to use them inside Create Studio 3. And so for those who don't know, you're actually missing a lot because guess what? The Anchor Point is an amazing feature and it's actually a game changer. If you know how to use it properly, your videos are gonna be much, much better. You're gonna have a lot more advanced animations that you can use in your videos and you're going to impress your audience just by using the anchor point in your animations hey what's going on everyone my name is ali and in this video i'm going to dive deeper into the anchor point and show you how to use it inside create studio to advance the level of your animations impress your audience and create really engaging animations using the anchor point so without further ado let's dive into our video and i've got an example that i want to share with you Let's go ahead and watch it and then come back to start creating. I hope you've enjoyed watching the sample. Now let's dive into understanding the fundamentals of Anchor Point. And let's actually define Anchor Point. What is Anchor Point? Well, the answer is as simple as that. The Anchor Point is simply the central point of the animation where if you want to have objects that spin around themselves, they can easily do that. If you want objects to spin around other objects or assets in your scene, you can do that. If you want characters or other assets in your scene to spin around or orbit around other objects, this is something that you can do. So when we say Anchor Point is a game changer, I really mean it because it is a game changer that you can create captivating videos to engage with your audience and attract their attention. So I'm gonna start with the basics and show you how to create or use the Anchor Point with this anchor shape that you see on screen, just to help you understand how to start using it. And then I'm planning on creating other series of tutorials that will dive deeper into creating different examples using the anchor point to help you make your videos more engaging unique and of course impress your audience so without further ado let's dive into it and show you the first example i'm going to take this all off the screen and then i'm going to go into my media folder and by the way if you are not subscribed be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you're interested in learning more about anchor point and seeing all the other examples or seeing the tutorials that I created in the past, be sure to subscribe. And as far as the images that I have in my media file, I'll be sure to leave a link to the to all these images in the description below so you can go ahead and download them and start using them in your project. And let me know what you're thinking once you've created it. How easy did you find it? And uh, yeah, let's get going from there. So I'm going to start with the anchor point to show you how you can start using the anchor point inside Create Studio. So like I said, the anchor point is simply the central point of the animation. So right now, if I want to rotate this anchor um, and make it spin around itself, I can easily do that with a simple animation just by clicking on the add animation button on above the timeline from properties. I will just choose rotation. I'll leave easing as linear for both in and out. And then I'm going to drag the second keyframe all the way to three seconds. Make sure it is selected. And then I'm going to rotate the anchor um, around itself just a couple of times. And you can see as I'm rotating it, you know, the center of this image is actually on the middle of the image. So that's why you're going to notice that the anchor is kind of rotating or spinning around itself from the center point right there. But if I change the anchor point, let's say if I want to have this anchor rotate, but from the top center. So all I got to do to find the anchor point options is simply go under settings and then find where it says anchor point right there. And then once you click that, you're going to notice that we have a little bit of a graph that we can choose from, right? Tiles right there that we can choose from to, to de define or determine where are we going to have the anchor point uh, start starting point from. 
or you can also make changes to the anchor point freely from the arrow that you see here so there's a little tiny purple rounded arrow right there on the image that you can also drag around and move it around uh, to change the starting point of your animation so i'm going to make this again like i said i want to have it start from the center top right so i'm going to choose that right there and then if i go back you'll notice that the shape is actually rotating from a different angle where we have the anchor rotating or, or spinning around itself from the top center as it shows so now if i change the uh the angle of this let's go to settings one more time open up the anchor point again and let's do this from the other way around let's do this from the bottom left corner so we click that you're going to notice that the arrow is now placed on the bottom left corner and if i go back right there and plus pay for you you'll notice that this is the way how the anchor point is rotating if i change this again go back to the anchor point and let's make it to the uh, middle center right there let's just go back right there and then we press play and this would be the kind of rotation that you can have. So this is basically what the anchor plane does. It changes the starting point of your animation depending on where your anchor point is placed on your image. And now I hope I have made it clear you have a better understanding. So if you want to watch me create that outer scene and show you how to get planets to spin around the sun, and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I release my upcoming tutorial. And the images link will be available in the description so you can go ahead and download them have them ready for our upcoming tutorial and like i said you know you're gonna learn a lot more than what you think you knew about this because i'm gonna share with you a secret that the cs team did not tell you about using the anchor point so one more time be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and be notified when i release the new tutorial and stay tuned until then i'll see you on the next video